Hello everybody, my name is Aethel, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as Russia. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, uh, we're doing a massive human wave attack across the entirety of the Western Front. It's, uh, it's not going super, super great, but again, we have so much manpower that, uh, I'm really not too worried about it. Uh, Norway will capitulate quite soon, and then maybe we'll get some naval invasions into, uh, northern Germany. You know, if we can actually manage to accomplish that. I don't even know, where is my navy, by the way? Ukraine, Greece, the northern front. Yes, we got a lot of uh, guys just over here in Petrograd. Each of plus to give me four support equipment. Thank you very much for your kind donations. But actually, I probably also want you guys just to be on... Just on careful for now. Because I don't want to lose, um... No, you can be on normal still, because I think you're still doing pretty okay work. Then all these guys are on normal, but that's fine. I just don't want to lose too much manpower over stupid little things. We've managed to cut these guys in half. 15 divisions here, 15 divisions there, that's completely okay. Splitting them in half. Uh, well, that hopefully will mean that they might be. Let's just say too much uh, supply, but they do have some ports there, so they probably are okay for now. And we are so close. Let's go kill this militia. Nope, you keep marching, Oslo. You kill this militia man. One of you march over here to uh, Friedrichstadt. One of you march is going to be all the way to here. You march to that city. And that will be every single one of the Norwegian uh, cities captured. So hopefully uh, we should be good to go. It's an offensive line down to here. That's going to be your job. Only only four divisions are actually on this front line. No, I don't understand how that's possible. Okay, oh, seven are deployed there for some reason. You can still be deployed here because I don't know where else you would go, but for the time being, it's fine. Fighting governments, how many men have they lost? How many men have Japan lost? Mostly against the Canadians. Only 52,000 against us. So we've lost significantly more men fighting the Japanese and Chinese and they've, uh, than we've killed, but that's uh, fine. How many men have the NPA lost? They've lost almost a million men, which is great news. I mean, they're still pushing us back slightly, but, you know, what, what can you do? Hopefully push them back slightly here. How many divisions do you actually have? You have about 30, uh, give or take. National School Administration, which is going to give us an extra research slot. Apparently we only had three this whole time. That's not very good. Uh, let's go for 208 days for the advanced computing machine. I think sounds fine. And what else do we have down here? Four or two free factories. Oh, another free research slot down there. Do we need two? Oh, only requires one of the following. Oh, that's fine. I can do one of the following. That's easy. But you guys are not looking super happy with your uh, attack plans at the moment. I'm really surprised like how well they've uh, they managed to turn their defenses around. Justification of wars against us. Yeah, no, I still understand that. I'm just gonna just get rid of that because I don't care. We're seeking a decent amount of French and British uh, convoys. Oh, the French have actually landed their way into Turkey. Well, uh, wonderful. You know what, Brown? The boy down here for a second. Are these guys not strategically deploying? They are. This takes them a long ass time to get anywhere. Like, it'd be nice if we had allies. That would actually help us out. Because right now, like, everyone else in my faction is a satellite state. And because we've liberated most of them, like, a few days ago, 
they don't even have armies. So, it's not looking too great for them. Okay, you just march into these territories. That should be okay. We're going to kill the Norwegians. We just got to take over these last two cities of theirs. Yeah, they're trying to like strategic redeploy or something like that. Oh yeah, I still need to build a planes. Right, I completely forgot about that. But they're still not actually researched yet, so never mind. Yeah, so we've cut them in half. I'm really just hoping that they maybe run out of supplies. Or, you know, if we can get one of these little areas uh, cut off and destroyed, we can maybe get something else done. Uh, I'm going to ask for military access from you. So if we take over here, we can actually maybe ship troops into Italy and start pushing up to the south. That would actually be really useful. It looks like they, they pushed their way to Rome, but now they are slowly dying. And I'm assuming that's because of a massive Russian front that uh, made the AI send all their troops to try to defend against it. Yeah, we're going to do a force attack here. Hopefully getting some territory dealt with. Yeah, we're still uh, slowly deploying our troops up to the north. Red, if you also want to attack there, that'd be great. We, are, we lost Vladivostok, but, you know, that's not a big deal. I'm sure we'll get it back in good time. You guys go redeploy back down to the south. You're not you guys aren't even part of a faction. I mean you're destroying the Dominion of India. There's no question about that, but it's where you need to be. So as soon as we take split, I think that will be the capitulation of uh, Croatia. We take over the you know the one uh, Montenegrin city that should also be their capitulation. I hope. Oh, we yeah, didn't get to the city yet. Is Norway? Will that city be enough? Uh, you're worth two. You are worth four. So probably not. If I had to take a guess. But all these troops should just get to that city. Because that's the only part of Norway that actually matters uh, for the time being. What about our tanks? Are our tanks ready to deploy? Yes, they most... I mean, a lot of them are. I mean, they, they, need, they do need slightly more tanks, but... I don't know if I'm saying 93,000 tanks. That's like so many. Uh, take all the states. So, Yellow Army, you are going to just hang out here for now. The fate of Norway. Liberate the Norwegians. Under a beautiful satellite state. Led by Quisling. Okay, and you know, front line here. Everybody go over here and hi hang out. It'd be nice to get, like, a naval invasion somewhere. Do you think we can navally invade the British? Okay, so it looks like the Isle of Man is actually occupied by the Canadians. But I'm guessing the enemy has a lot of ships here. Honestly, I see not that many. Not as many as I would have thought, at least. But there's literally no enemy ships here at all. So we can maybe actually plan a naval invasion from here to uh, maybe that city? I mean, that's a port province. You know, have a handful of men ready to attack that. Get my navy, which is basically just bad. Select you. Um... Convoy raid, convoy escort. Currently repairing, but no factories are actually being used to pay it, repair. Capacity is too low to repair everybody at once. That's okay. Where's my other boats, by the way? 
We have 30 in Ukraine. Friendly supremacy. You know what? Call me right in this area. I don't even know where these I don't even know where these ships are. I just know they're somewhere around here. Greece, the Baltic Sea. How do I just say how do I get rid of these again? I completely forgot. That's fine. Uh, what other boats do we have? I know we have more than that. Oh, these guys over here. I guess convoy raid here? Enemy superiority. Uh, no, don't actually go over there. No, don't go in that province. That's uh, a bit much. Remove that province. Do we have any good naval bases? You do. And hopefully our little uh, navy can do something. I mean, their navies are bigger than ours, but I'm just hoping that the AI is more concerned with other stuff than actually trying to kill us. Or trying to sink our ships, I should say. Okay, yeah, we're winning some battles down here. I mean, they're pretty dug in. That's a big problem for us, uh, to say the least. Uh, I don't even know what this front line... Oh, yeah, that, that's for these guys. Right. Again, if we take over Graz, that should be the Austrians capitulated. So if we can get that done... I mean, there's just so much stuff on the screen at any given time that it's hard to really uh, focus on any one thing. Got some troops leaving. Let's try another attack in Hamburg. We can't. We don't have enough command power to do anything quite yet. We can maybe push this guy out of the province. We're losing some of the battles here, but that's okay. Their defenses are just like really high right now. How many troops does uh, Italy have? They have uh, probably about 66 divisions, so if you can capitulate them, then that'll be some good uh, work for us. If anything, what we need actually, we probably uh, should have got more of these encryption technologies. Probably would help us out slightly. Yeah, so the French have landed down here, but again, I'm not actually going to pay that much mind. I don't care that much. You guys just move out to where you need to be. I'll slowly push the Japanese back out of Siberia. Fantastic. And I'm guessing you guys are not really ready to go for an attack. If you're an enemy, no, you actually, uh, you might actually get it done. I'm just hoping that the AI does not try to sink my ships. That would be uh, bad news for us. Okay, we lost this battle here. Uh, we lost a convoy. That doesn't matter to me. And we are doing some good work against some of the convoys, which is great. Yeah, we really just need to get the split. I mean, I know Croatia doesn't have a lot of troops, but it will, uh... All these ports will then just defect to our side. Which is important. Okay, you're at 95%. If you can kind of keep pushing in here and then have one horse go all the way to this city. Because currently, they have no troops on their own. And then we can send troops from here to southern Italy, push away north. Try to just open up as many fronts as possible against the, uh, the Internationale. Is my biggest goal here at the moment. So it's August 1941. I really wish I could just join the Entente. Faction leader, United Kingdom's faction leader. I don't, I don't know why May third of all the days. Why May third? I have no clue. 
Like, we are slowly pushing our way through. I mean, I'm sure we're taking millions of losses. Yeah, like, just, just dreadful number of casualties. Russian Empire. I guess the French, we were actually at a round, uh, around equal there. And we've actually managed to push uh, much further down to the south. Let's see if we can go take that province. Let's see if we can uh, kill you. You go here. Fantastic. Go over here. Take over Fume. How long? Like Croatia. They're pretty close. I feel like maybe even this will actually get to capitulate. Uh, potentially. But just any territory under our control is good. Don't take it over Hamburg, but, you know, what can you do about that? Two more days until we can navally invade the British. See if we can actually get it done. I don't know where most of the British troops are. If we click on this, we can get a kind of like a glimpse. We see one British troop. You know, there's a handful of Brits. But honestly, not that many. Also, this is just... It's just too much information. It's too much clutter. Okay, so we need uh, some encryption. We don't have naval superiority over here. Do we have more ships in the area? No, we do not. For the time being, we can't actually attack. Because we have no naval supremacy. I'm assuming our boats are just trash, and that's why. Uh, what about our planes? Where are all of our planes? Our naval bomb. Are you a naval bomber? Your tactical bomber. Where are the naval bombers that I had no idea what to do with? Naval bombers, yes. You go here, start trying to bomb these areas. Montenegro is capitulated, fantastic. We all knew that was bound to happen. What, did I just walk into the province? Yeah, I just walked into the province and they died. Not a huge surprise here. Sure, we'll take all of your stuff. Let's start building some, some bombers here. Are they auto deploying the Crimea? That is not really where I want the ships to be, but sure. We'll ro okay, I don't care about the convoy efficiency. I mean, I probably should be raiding. They should be on strike force. We only have 50, but we require 50. Okay. Sure, why not? Maybe when our boats get there, there we go. Our, uh... Master of the Motherland, plus 6% stability. Did they leave? Oh, now they're leaving. Fantastic. So maybe we can get naval invasion into Britain going. We'll see how that actually works out for us. I'm kind of skeptical, to be completely honest. I know... You know, just an insane, uh... Take on that. Have you guys actually managed to take over this area quite yet? I mean, you're close, but not, uh, not quite hitting it out of the park quite yet. Yeah, and all these guys, they are no longer green. They are experienced because they have, uh, lost many a men. We're at least, uh, holding this area for now. I really don't care about, uh... Any of that? Like, are you core territories? No, you're colony states, disappointingly enough. They're 54% here. Even with, like, a bunch of people trying to actually kill it, it's not actually working out so well for us. What if I just do, like, a, uh, a force attack won't work? And then as soon as... If they actually make landing, we'll just send... Oh, they're actually going to make landing, because there's no troops actually there. So the entirety of the Yellow Army is going to just deploy into, uh... Oh, the integration of... Oh, fantastic. Gain core and a bunch of territory. Now, all of Yellow is going to deploy there. Because this, this does not matter anymore. But we've landed our way into Britain, so I think that's going to be a good time then to end this episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed my thumbs up, if you're not enjoying it, thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.